okay so uh, hello everyone welcome to licd lecture number 39c today we are going to discuss the concept of slow rate and its origin and uh, next we'll uh, also study the very important concept of slow rate limiting and its numerical okay so let us start so what is slow rate slow rate is defined as the maximum rate of change of output voltage with respect to time mathematically it is written as sr is equal to dv out by dt at max value and its unit is volts per microsecond that's a very important notification volts per microsecond so what does volts per microsecond mean for example 1 volts per microsecond slow rate means that the output voltage rises or falls by 1 volt in 1 microsecond okay and uh, ideally the value of the slow rate is infinite that means that the output voltage should respond or change instantaneously to the changes in the input that is what do you mean by ideal slow rate basically it decides the speed of the op amp now manufacturers specify the value of slow rate in the data sheet that gives the circuit designer a good idea of how quickly a given op amp responds to the changes in the input voltage now for op amp ic741 the slow rate at the unity gain is 0.5 volts per microsecond now let's check this value okay so i'll go over here and uh, open the data sheet of 741 and let's cross check that value okay so this is my data sheet i'll go to the electrical properties and uh, yeah it will be available in the switching parameters so this is my electrical switching characteristics for 741 ic and here we have one parameter that is slow rate denoted by sr that is the slow rate at unity gain and uh, its value is as you can see very clearly 0.5 volts per microsecond okay so the unit is 0.5 a uh, unit is volts per microsecond and the value is 0.5 okay that's why we have written over here okay, let me go back to the pdf okay that's why we have written over here 0.5 volts per microsecond that's the value from the data sheet now next we will see that what is slow rate so uh, we have seen the actual circuit of a op amp Uh, what are the internals of an op amp so internal it consists of many transistors many resistors and a single capacitor okay so what's the origin of this slow rate there is usually a capacitor within the op amp ic which prevents the output voltage from changing or responding immediately to a fast changing input basically what happens is see capacitor whenever there is a capacitor it will limit the speed of the circuit why capacitor will take some time to charge and discharge so by the time if a fast signal comes and goes the output may react with a little late because of that capacitor so same is the story with 741o ic so internally it has a capacitor cc which will limit the high speed operation of the op amp now the rate at which the voltage across the capacitor uh, vc increases is given by dvc by dt is equal to im upon c where im is the maximum internal charging current with a value 15 microamperes thus the slow rate will be given by dvc by dt max which is im upon c the value of the capacitor is 30 30 picofarad for 741 and the im is 15 microamperes so if you divide this you will get 0.5 volts per microsecond okay so we have seen the definition of uh, what is a slow rate concept and what causes slow rate basically now we'll go for the next concept that is slow rate limiting fine so let us go on to the first point so slow rate will limit the response speed of all the large signal wave shape okay so let's understand this uh, this first point by an example so let's say you have a sine wave and we want to affect the slow rate limiting on the uh, on the for the following scenario so the following scenario is that we consider a voltage divider circuit 
so input is applied as vm sin omega t so as we know voltage divider circuit output will also follow the same that is vm sin omega t so the rate of change of output with respect to time is given by uh, dv out by dt will be equal to omega vm into cos omega t this is a equation number uh, actually we haven't named it it we consider to be equation number 2 so now maximum rate of change of output voltage occurs when cos of omega t is 1 correct so the slew rate formula will become dv out by dt max value you will get omega into vm only cos omega t will become 1 and uh, from here omega you can substitute it as 2 pi f so slew rate will be 2 pi f into vm now the unit is volts per second if you want to convert into volts per microsecond then the formula will become sr is equal to by f vm divided by 10 raised to 6 so please keep this in mind now a very important next point which we have to consider is as follows the maximum frequency f max at which we can obtain an undistorted output voltage of a peak value vm is given by so from this rearrange the formula so f max will be slew rate divided by 2 pi into vm we will use this concept in some numericals okay now let us go back to the slew rate limiting part okay so we are scrolling up okay so this is the effect of slew rate uh, on the square wave in which is operating at a relatively higher frequency so the green color waveform is a square wave at 100 hertz and the same square wave behaves as follows uh, there is a delay in the response to the input so this is the delay and the delay in the response to the input at the negative side and the positive side also so the red color curve is measured at 100 kilohertz and we can clearly see the slew rate limiting at the higher frequency now let us cross check uh, this result in lt spice so we have uh, built a circuit of voltage divider wherein we have applied a square wave pulse to the non inverting terminal and because of the uh, voltage follower the output will also contain the same value now let's check this at uh, at higher frequency so this is my v in and this is my v out as you can clearly see that uh, the slew rate effect is clearly visible over here now let me minimize this so you can see over here is the same uh, thing which we have described over here this is because of slew rate the output is responding with some delay and that is causing the waveform to deviate from the uh, square wave so that's the delay and this is the delay at the negative side okay i hope that this slew rate limiting at higher frequency point is very very clear fine okay so let's go to our numerical number 1 uh, so let me just focus on this okay so numerical number 1 says that we have an op amp which is used as a inverting amplifier with a gain of 50 next the voltage gain versus frequency curve of 741 is flat up to 20 kilohertz right they are giving us the f frequency now the question is what maximum peak to peak input signal can be applied without distorting the output okay so how do we approach such type of numerical first of all we write the given data that uh, your 741 is mentioned so 741 the slew rate is 0.5 volts per microsecond and the secondly the formula for slew rate is sr is equal to 2 pi f into vm so vm will be slew rate upon 2 pi f uh, that will be 0.5 pi divided by 10 to 6 in the denominator we have two more terms 2 pi into 20k so i'm sure if you work it out in a calculator you will get a number close to 3.9788 volts now this vm is actually vo peak so vo peak peak will be twice this number which is close to 7.957 volts okay now for the output to be undistorted the maximum input signal should be less than okay so v in peak to peak should be v out vo peak to peak upon 
gain, the you know, magnitude of gain, which is around 50. So we divide 7.957 divided by 50. You will surely get a number close to 159.15 millimeter. Okay. So this much V in maximum peak to peak value of V in should be 159.15 millivolt. So that signal can be applied without distorting the output. Fine. So this is one category of numerical. I hope that you all don't have a query over here. Okay. Next we'll go to numerical number two. It's slightly different. So over here, the slew rate of an op is given as six volts per microsecond when the closed loop gain is unity. Here the output signal is uh, Vm cos omega t and we have to find the limiting frequency which will distort the output signal by slew rate limiting. So we have to find the limiting frequency which will distort the output signal. Okay. Now this has to be done for two cases. For first case we have Vm equal to 1 volt and for the second scenario we have Vm equal to 10 volt. Okay, so let us start. The slew rate is given, that is 6 volts per microsecond, and uh, we have to calculate the frequency. So, frequency fm when vm equal to 1 is given by fm is equal to slew rate divided by 2 pi m, so uh, 2 pi vm. So, slew rate uh, fm will be uh, 6 divided by in the numerator we have 10 is to minus 6 into 2 pi into 1. So, if you work out in a calculator, this number will come close to 954.929 kilohertz. Okay, now at Vm equal to 10 volts, the corresponding frequency can be evaluated as follows. Here, only in place of Vm, we substitute 10. So, that number becomes, uh, the earlier result will be divided by 10, which will be 95.4929 kilohertz. Okay, and the last concluding remark is this that the limiting frequency which distorts the output signal when Vm is 1 volt is 954.929 kilohertz and when Vm is 10 volt is 95.4929 kilohertz. Okay, so I think we have come to the conclusion of the lecture and uh, we have seen what is slew rate. We have also seen the its origin Then we have seen the concept of uh, slew rate limiting and uh, uh, we have also demonstrated that in LT spice and then we have solved two numericals on the slew rate based on the slew rate limiting and the overall formula. So I think that's it for today's lecture. Next time we'll start with a new topic. Until then, have a good day and thank you.